Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Aztec Water Chill 2 Water Cooling Kit. Included is a cap, a lanyard, installation instructions, and materials needed for installing the different components. A pump, a tank, a power cable, three water blocks, one for the chipset, GPU, and CPU. Water Chill, this is anti-algae fluid. This gets mixed with distilled water tubing, a 120 millimeter fan, and the radiator. The chipset, GPU, and CPU water blocks all have an acrylic top and a thick, smooth, solid copper base, as well as these quick connect fittings. Very easy but secure to install tubes into these. And all the components in the system have these quick connect fittings. Make sure the tube is cut fair, push it all the way in, and it's installed. Now, the chipset water block can be installed on any Intel Pentium 4 motherboard or AMD motherboard. The GPU water block can be installed on any current video card. And this particular CPU water block can be installed on the socket 478, 462, 754, 939, and 940. Now to the right here, there are a couple extras. These are just acrylic tops, so you can remove this top and fit these on. This one here is a little bit of a smaller footprint for AMD, and this one's for the socket 775. This is a Sunon 120mm fan. The fan spins at 2,300 RPMs, pushes 38 CFMs, and is 34 decibels. The radiator is copper, and it has these quick connect fittings. With the fan installed on the radiator, have a listen. The pump that's included in this kit pushes 900 liters per hour of water and has a reservoir right on the pump. Now this is where you would fill the system. Through the top here, just pour the liquid in. There is also a control unit which is hardwired to the pump. It has a number of connections. This is where you would connect it to the power supply on the inside of the case. You can also adjust the speed on the fan with this jumper, 12 volt or 7 volt, and here is where the fan gets connected. There's also an external power connection to be made from here into this cable going through the expansion slot at the back of your case to the power supply. Now have a listen to the pump. As you can hear, it is extremely quiet. I'm going to be installing this CPU water block on the socket 478. First, remove the plastic retention bracket, turn the motherboard over, put a washer over four bolts, and push them up through the motherboard. Now, put an additional four washers down over the four bolts, and screw these four guides onto the bolts. Next, carefully place the CPU into the socket and apply a very thin coat of thermal compound. And finally, place four springs down over these guides. Then, four thumb screws down into the guides. Tighten each evenly all the way around. When installing the chipset water block, first remove the existing chipset cooler. Next, remove any of the old thermal compound and apply a thin coat of new. Most motherboards will have holes through the board that will hold the cooler into place. In this particular situation, there are hooks, so you'll need to attach these bolts to these hooks, two of them, in order to hold the chipset water block onto the chipset. Now in order to do this, they have included two cable ties. So attach these two bolts to two hooks with these cable ties. Cut the extra off the cable tie. 
And also note, before I put this bolt on, I also slipped a washer down. So you can see now when this draws up, it will not slip out, but rather hold it into place. Next, carefully slip the chipset water block down through these two bolts. Apply a washer, a spring, another washer, and finally a thumb screw over each bolt. And tighten these evenly down. When installing the GPU water block on the video card, first remove the existing video card cooler, remove the old thermal compound, and apply a thin coat of new. Next, slip a washer over both bolts and slip them up through the video card. Then carefully slip the GPU water block down over these two bolts. And like the installation of the chipset water block, slip a nylon washer down, a spring, another nylon washer, and finally a thumb screw over each bolt. And tighten each one down evenly to secure the GPU water block to the video card. Remember to cut the tubing as short as possible. This just increases the effectiveness of the water cooling kit. Now I want to show you the direction of flow. It comes out of the radiator here as cool water going into the CPU water block first, then into the chipset water block, and finally into the GPU water block coming back to the pump as warm water. The radiator will cool it down and this cycle will continue over and over. This is a very robust, all-inclusive kit that performs very well. Without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon and I will have a brand new one for you then. Also pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com and while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care.